Constipation is a sign that your gut is giving you the silent treatment. Hi, I'm Sheetal. Today I'm going to guide you towards poses and meditations which will help give you relief from constipation. Let's begin with a small warm-up. I'm lying on my back. Now I'm raising my right leg towards the sky. As I'm inhaling and slowly bringing it down as I'm exhaling. Let's repeat it on the other side as well. We need to do this five times. Time to move on to our first pose. The first pose is Pavan Muktasana or Wind Relieving Pose. I am beginning by lying on my back with my legs together and my hands beside my body while my palms are facing down. I am keeping my breathing normal throughout. I am folding the right leg at the knee and bringing the folded knee closer to the chest. Following this, I am interlocking my fingers around my shin bone. I can feel a good stretch at the right hip. Next, I am lifting my head off the floor, bringing my chin towards my knees. At this point, I can notice the stretch at the back of my neck and my upper back. It's time to release this pose by reverse movements. Now, I'm repeating the same pose on the other side. For better results, Repeat this asana two to four times on both sides. Wrap your palm around the thigh if you have knee pain. Don't force your chin to your knees. Let it happen naturally within your capacity. If you have severe back pain, neck pain, or any abdominal pain like ulcer, hernia, appendicitis, or have had recent surgery, please avoid this pose. The second pose which I am performing is called Uttana Vakrasana or the Spinal Twist Pose. I am lying on my back with my legs together. To begin, I am folding both my knees and placing my feet on the floor. Next, I am keeping my feet and knees together and nearer to my buttocks. Then, I am interlocking my fingers and placing my palms below my head. I am keeping my breathing normal throughout. I am turning my head towards the right while I am dropping both legs on the floor towards the left. I am closing my eyes and observing the breath for three to five repetitions. At this stage, I can notice the stretch in the side trunk and my right hip. I can even notice a soft twist in the abdomen which is giving a gentle massage to the organ 
inside my belly. Whenever you're ready, come back to the initial position. I am repeating the same sequence on the other side. Just make sure not to push your knees and neck towards the floor. Let them drop naturally. We need to repeat this for 2-4 to four rounds each. For 3-5 to five breaths each. People with acute abdominal problems like hernia, enlarged liver or spleen and painful spine should avoid this pose. The third pose which I am performing is called Vajrasana or the Thunderbolt pose. I am beginning in a tabletop position. I am bringing my knees and feet close to each other. Next. I am kneeling on the floor and sitting back on my heels. I am keeping my head and spine straight and my hands are on my knees. I can notice a nice stretch on the quadriceps and ankles. I will be holding this position for about 10 minutes and concentrate on my breathing. If you are facing knee pain or injury, shin pain or very stiff ankles, please avoid this pose. Let's finish our session with a soothing meditation. You can sit with your legs crossed like this or even lie on your back with your knees bent. Keep the back of your palms on your thighs and concentrate on your breathing and belly while it moves in and out. We need not force anything. Just observe the belly movements. Stay here as long as you feel comfortable. Gently rub your palms together and place them on the eyes. Absorb the warmth and gently open your eyes in the palms. It's time to bring our palms down. Yoga does not just change the way we see things. It transforms the person who sees. On this happy note, this is Sheetal taking your leave. Till then, keep growing, keep glowing.